Martin Truex Jr. passed Brad Keselowski with two laps to go and avoided a last lap wreck that led to a pit road brawl and left Kyle Busch bloodied in a wild finish to the NASCAR Cup race Sunday. An aggressive Joey Logano got into Busch sending him spinning down pit road at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Moments later, Bush and Logano tangled, with crew members pulling Bush away as blood ran down his forehead. There wasn't much talking, just a lot of swinging, Logano said. I was racing hard there at end, asked if any blows were landed, Logano replied, none to me. Bush was pulled up off the ground by crew members and taken to the infield care center to get his forehead looked at. He was quickly treated and released. I got dumped. He flat out just drove straight in the corner and wrecked me, Bush said. That's how Joey races, so he's going to get it. The fight overshadowed a tough luck finish for Keselowski, who appeared to be pulling away after a restart and on his way to his second win in as many weeks when he ran into mechanical problems. I just know it was something major, he said. It wouldn't turn and I lost brakes. Truex passed him and held on to become the first driver to win all three segments in NASCAR Cup's new stage racing. Kyle Larson was second, followed by Chase Elliott, Logano, and Keselowski. Truex won the first two race stages and retook the lead with 39 laps to go after a lengthy cycle of green flag pit stops. After a hard charging Keselowski went in front. Data Kirkpatrick blew an engine, bringing out a caution. Keselowski, who started from the pole, just beat Truex out of pit road after their four tire stops. He chose the outside lane on the restart and shot ahead until his car slowed. Denny Hemlin was sixth, followed by Ryan Blaney, Jamie McMurray, Matt Kenseth, and Clint Bowyer. Jimmy Johnson was 11th, marking the first time since he became a full-time driver in 2002 that he has failed to have a top-10 finish in the first three races. Kevin Harvick's hope of bouncing back from a disappointing finish at Atlanta lasted only 68 laps. He crashed hard into the wall when his right front tire exploded. It started vibrating four or five laps before it blew out, Harvick said. I was trying to ride it to the end of the stage, Harvick, who entered as the series points leader was credited with a 38th place finish a week after leading 292 laps only to be caught sealing on pit road. The one five mile track was slick with the temperature in the 80s in the desert, and it was a rough homecoming for Daytona 500 champion Kurt Busch. Shortly after venting his frustration over the radio, he had to come in for a new battery with 66 laps to go and finished 30th. Patrick, rear gear change, had to start from the rear fell a lap down in the first stage and ended up 36 hours after the dead engine. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. finished 33rd in a backup car after an axle shaft poked out of the wheel.